Enterprise is on a mission. Defeat anyone, anywhere, anytime. On July 12th, his quest brings him face to face with the most dangerous man in the division in a showdown for honor and glory. And they are exchanging leather in the center of the ring. Canelo Alvarez, Eris Landy Lara, honor and glory. Amid all the questions, one thing is clear. These are two men, diametrically opposed, in style and sensibility, the boxer and the puncher. Their conflict as old as the sport itself, doomed to despise each other. Of Canelo, but the slick and sturdy defense. There's electricity in this building. I've been around for 35 years in boxing. Well-anticipated fight. Of course, on Showtime pay-per-view, we brought you Danny Garcia. And immediately, Laura utilizing that vaunted footwork. Canelo. Canelo's got to do a better job of setting up power because it's not Angulo in front of him tonight. And that was the question, Paulie. Against there was Landy Laura. He'll have to be very cognizant. He has to do a good job of cutting off that ring. From the southpaw stance, nice right hand to the bread get basket by the Cuban fighter. So far, jabs only for one guy, and that's Lara. And a lead left hook to the body by Canelo. Ronnie Shields made the point that it will be so much more difficult for Canelo to... And of course, largely partisan crowd for Canelo will react to, respond to anything Canelo does. But another nice combination. Very early in this fight. Because Canelo's not a slow guy, but the problem is right. he's not as fast on the trigger. Yeah. And that's a different kind of speed all in and of itself. It's a timing speed. No. So a great start for the slick Cuban here in Sin City. La pelea es tuya. Cambiar tu vida y tus hijos para siempre. Sigue haciendo lo que está haciendo. Ten cuidado con esa izquierda, lo único que trae, hijo, eh. Ahorita te agarró una. It's the biggest problem he had against Floyd Mayweather. Started very aggressively against Alfredo Angulo. He's not facing Helpero tonight. Eris Landy Lara, one of the most technically gifted boxers in the sport. Lara's defense is basically his movement. That's really true. Oh, there's a off balance, there. off balance, though. He was off balance. Like Angulo, he could hit him so far, he's not been able to corner. But now Canelo able to. <laughs> the crowd reacting feverishly, and Lara's able to sneak that sniper like right through the guard. Or left, I should say, from the south side, because you gotta keep them busy even if they're not landing. Oh, good catch and shoot yeah. combination by Lara. An amazing atmosphere here in the fight capital of the world with the biggest fight of the summer. Minute and a half remaining in the second. Canelo now clinches, but now walking down Lara. Lara looking to keep him at bay with the jab. Lara using just enough movement. Nice right hand. Another right hand targeting the midsection by the Mexican superstar. And he's better off trying to get to the body first. And Lara will not be an easy target to the head in the beginning of the fight. In the second round, Canelo needs to oh, cut him off. Left as hand. He... A good left hand by Lara. If he got underneath it. Lara oh, snaps a jab, follows with the straight left. Canelo leads with a right hand. and yet hasn't faced many left-handed lefty Ricardo Cano, and so somewhat surprising as he misses with that right uppercut that just whistled by the chin of Eris Landy Lara. Jab, follows with a straight left down the middle. A uh, set of opposition, no different tonight. That footwork, which we know would be one of his biggest attributes in this fight. And now Lara just sticking to the game plan, off an economical one-two combination. Sticking to the game plan, much to him here, but of course he's here to win. He's trying to score and run, score and run, trying to build up the points. And he believes... Don't want to take too many chances with a big puncher like Canelo, yeah. so we'll see how the, when the fight progresses. Lara's trainer, Ronnie Shields, told us that Lara's the master. There's a straight left that and he, tags Canelo he in the face. him into it. He moves around, throws a couple of pot shots. Canelo into it. Canelo just walking him down instead of cutting the ring yeah, off. Yeah, he's just leading Canelo all over this ring. 
Lawler is a very difficult guy to deal with. Yeah, Julio Cesar Chavez. So he's in the corner with a slick lefty facing a Mexican icon in front of the crowd that favored the Mexican fighter. Vanilla unloads with a couple of right hands. There's a nice combination. Now Canelo beginning to find his range. He's trying to plot forward earlier, but now he's actually making an effort to get these hands up. Canelo works the body. Blau being smart, though, trying to smother it. You know, he'll take the, the offensive oh, attack. Combination. Even if he gives around the way, it seems like Blau is okay as long as he slows Canelo down. So as we talk about one of the keys for Canelo being that body work. No, 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 no. Twice as many punches as Blau and has landed more. Canelo can make an adjustment for that straight left hand of Lara. He'll do because it, right now it's been his best offensive weapon. Best round thus far for Canelo Alvarez. Lara doing a good job of targeting the head. But it's all Canelo Alvarez when it comes to the body work. <laughs>
10 seconds. Been a spirited affair thus far between Canelo Alvarez and Eris Landy Lara. Both of them. Also a co-manager of Eris Landy Lara. Oh, good shot by Canelo. In the eighth. He continues to invest in the body and pace. So body work, that's right. Investing in the body very early in the fight. A very active Lara. There's a combination by Canelo. Flashing the jab, but you're right, Al. Not throwing a lot of punches, and he absorbs another punch to the gut. And fainting a little, Alvarez. Hasn't done that in this fight. Canelo has. Lara momentarily on the ropes, walking him down. Misses with that lead left uppercut. Lara. I got it. I got it. Okay? Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep boxing. Keep counting the ball plays. Opening 30 seconds of the ninth. And you know, it's interesting. Most of the punches that Canelo has landed in this, in this case, they've been a lot of clean punches to the body. There's a right hand to the body by Canelo. Lead crossed by the southpaw, Laura. But again, Pauly, he is unable to get on track. He's utilizing the footwork, but starting to find the range a little better, getting off more punches. After eight rounds, and Stevie, you've, uh, you've even it up. Three out of four to start for Lara. Three out of four to finish for Canelo. There's a combination. Thought in the Lara, Lara camp. Pressure right now. Doesn't necessarily look that way. No, it doesn't, although he is getting busier. Yeah. But now Canelo working the body. Blood streaming down the right side of Lara's face as Canelo digs away at the body. And Mexican throws at Eros Landy Lawrence of the night. And you have to acknowledge they will be partisan for you. But he's doing some good work. Lara's Beautiful combination. He's got to do that catch and shoot again. He's got to get it. It's transition. He's served him well. The second half by Canelo has certainly swung the fight back in his favor. Lara slipped there. That was a slip. <laughs> the ebb and flow of Buck Canelo, Al Bernstein, Paulie Melanagi. Clock is thickening. We can say that. There's a right hand body. Early on, oh, good luck. There's there. beautiful. Early on, Lara had done a good job of creating doubt in Canelo's mind in his own offense. This round, he's got to continue to make Canelo doubt. Just as he expected would be his task, but still feeling the effects of these blows as referee allowing them to. The yeah. of Steve Farr with Lara. Exactly what we're getting to, but you mentioned something about me making a great point. Please, you did <laughs> You did, because he was on the, working that body and working on the side. Robert was having himself a good round so far, guys. Lara coming back with another combination. Seconds left in the round. Canelo, there's a left hook to the body. With all the body punches Canelo has landed. Also continuing to target the head, although he got jacked there with the, the tenth round. It looked like he was starting to slow down. So good, good comeback for a lot of them. Let's see how Canelo responds. To cut off that ring. Well, I'll tell you an important number of jabs. When he's throwing more jabs, it's been effective. Be the case is Lara sticking no, to no, no, his no, no, game no, plan, no. the gifted boxer from Cuba getting hit. And there Canelo working the body again. But there comes back Lara. Lara is one and one. Well, they're impatient with Lara. Certainly they're rooting for Canelo. They want. And Lara's picking them up. This round, Lara, it might be enough based upon his movement. I don't know. Canelo's face and Lara doing a good job of avoiding Canelo's attack and actually scoring headed to the crucial 12th and... Can he 
sustain it. Defensive ability, giving the edge, and there he connects again to the head. So Law picking off Canelo. There's a left hook to the body by Canelo. 15 seconds. Lara utilizing the movement. Canelo scorecards. Canelo and Lara go the distance. Canelo! Oh, buddy!